Hello, Cricket Joe here. We're back on Appleton Farm. Last time we left off, we were harvesting the barley field. And we harvested it, and now we are getting ready to windrow the straw so that we can pick it up and get prepared for cows. And also to sell some. Get lined up here. Just got offline. Um, playing the Tebby Bears 24-hour live stream for charity, which was fun. Very hectic, but fun. Get lined up here. So now we're going to windrow straw. And I think I bought a, a forge wagon. I didn't lower it. Back over here. There we go. I used to do this as a child. We had a New Holland hay rake that we did this with. We used to grow alfalfa for our cattle. In real life, when we would rake hay, alfalfa on the fields, um, the thing about hay is you cannot bale it wet. So you have to rake it, or windrow it, turn it over, dry it out. It gets rained on, you have to go through it all again before you get it baled. Um, we had an instance where we had hay bales catch on fire because they were a little bit wet inside. And what happens with those tightly wrapped round hay bales is that if they have any moisture inside of them, they will 
heat up in the summertime like an oven, and internally they will get so hot that they will spontaneously burst into flame. And that's what happened on our farm when I was a kid. We had a massive fire. We had two or three different fire departments out to the farm. We had neighbors with their tractors and front loaders trying to move bales out of the way. And eventually what we had to do was bury the bales that were on fire because you cannot put them out with a fire hose. They're so tightly wrapped, water cannot get down inside the bale. And we had some guys with um, front loaders and buckets. I think a bulldozer too showed up to um, dig a big hole in the ground and we ended up moving all those smoldering and <clears throat> uh, hay bales into the big pit in the ground and we buried them and they probably burned for several days. Most would come out of the ground for several days until they finally burned themselves out. We lost a lot of hay that summer and we ended up selling, well, I think we sold all of our cattle. I think we had maybe 30 to 50, I don't remember exactly, it was so little. Um, but I remember hauling them to town to sell at market because we uh, didn't have enough hay to keep them going through the winter. We ended up having cows off and on for years, and we were still full five to ten at a time after that. We raised them and sell them at market. So I guess in this game, the tetter is what actually dries the grass out to make hay. In real life, we just use what we call a hay rake. Um, and there is a mod for a New Holland hay rake. It's just like the one I used as a kid. And we would take and uh, rake one row into the next to you know, combine two rows into one. This makes it easier when it's time to bail. It doesn't take quite as long. And as for straw, we never really um, baled straw after harvesting. Um, what we would do if we did bale straw is that um, on the combine you have a belt driven either a straw chopper or a straw spreader at the rear end of the combine. And what you would do if you wanted to bale the straw was that you would um, remove that belt or just unhook it from the pulley that ran the chopper or the straw spreader. That way, when the combine would harvest, it would just drop a nice, thick windrow of straw behind it on the ground, and then you'd follow up with the baler. Just pick it up and make bales. The only time we really used straw bales, um, we never did make mixed rations or anything like that, but we would use straw bales for our dogs and stuff in the litter, insulate them, keep them warm, we put it in the chicken house spread it around inside the barn for the cows. And then you have to um, clean the barn out every once in a while and take that manure and straw and put a big manure pile. And then you could use that uh, to spread later on or in the springtime, sometimes in the fall, to spread on your fields for natural fertilizer. It's really good. Got this field one road. I think I did buy forge wagon. We'll have to check this to get this finished. A 
hold that up. We'll head it back over to the farm. <clears throat> See if we did buy a forge wagon. I did buy one, I don't remember where I parked it. It should be up here somewhere. I did um, buy a mixing station to put over by the cow shed also. So we will be putting our extra straw in there after we get some in the cow barn for the cows. I think I'm going to park it and go right inside here. Our mowers. I got the Denverland, the tar up mowers, and I sold all the tractors but this one because we don't really need to have four tractors if we only have me to drive them. I'm not hiring any workers, so. This guy parked up here. And let me look. See, did I buy Forge Wagon? If I did, where did that leave? Did I buy a trailer? I may not have. Let me go look. Maybe I put it in this little shed over here on the left. Tell you what, the sheds in this thing really slow down the frame rate. There's our forage wagon. I kept this tractor out of all of them because it had the most horsepower. And it's fastest. Fastest, fastest one we had, so. Let's move it out here. See if we can get through the gate without crashing those. Back up a little bit here. go. Let's head back out to the field and get started picking up straw. Once we get the straw done, we will then begin cultivating and get the field ready number six ready for planting because we also have field number three which is currently ready for seeding so we will be doing that probably <clears throat> maybe not next episode but we might get started next episode we'll start the um, cultivating for sure next episode um, we'll get started on this straw pickup and we'll, I'll probably finish up the rest of it on or off screen get here here and turn it on and open for unfold construction. Lower it a little. Okay. So let's start picking up our barley straw. Make sure it's 
getting it all. Yes, looks B. I'm gonna do this series, uh, for Appleton Farm, mainly in cab as much as possible, since we're doing all the work ourselves. Um, I am going to try to get some more Two Rivers episodes up this weekend, at least get them recorded. And I'm also doing the Salem, South Dakota map on a separate series. So I'm gonna try to keep up with three series, but uh, maybe. Um, the week between episodes on all of them because I'm just doing the recording on the weekend. And then I will be doing the uploading various weeknights during the week after I get home from work. I need to go to bed. I'll let them upload overnight so it'll be early in the morning at my time. And I'm not a perfectionist, so I'm not worried about getting every last bit of straw. Or if we get the majority of it. And like I said earlier, I played in the uh, Tubby Bear 24 hour live stream. Enjoyed it, got to talk to Fad Man quite a bit. The, uh, waiting room, I guess you would call it, on Team Speak. Nice man. Um, didn't get, really get to talk to Stocko much. Said hello. And, uh, it was a hectic hour of playtime. Everybody had lag problems, and the game froze up. And, but it was fun. Glad I got the chance to experience playing with that many people at one time. I've never played with that many people on a multiplayer game before. So basically, the only two jobs I did on the hour I played, I mowed some grass with the coffee hopper, and then I did unload harvester on the to be on the hangar step map. And, uh, had a lot of lag, so it was kind of hard to drive, but it was great fun. Let's see how much straw we can get picked up off this field before the time is up. I'm trying to limit my uh, recording time to anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes if possible, but sometimes I just forget to watch the clock. Very easy to over the time limit playing this game because you're concentrating so much. Okay. We're getting close to half full. In real life, after um, harvesting, we would um, actually plow fields in this game. I'm not going to plow. You know, I may later on in the series start plowing after the harvest. It's not really necessary in this game, but it's nice to show people what the um, process is step by step. This uh, field will just be doing cultivating after the straw is all picked up, deposited where it belongs.
hospitals aren't very large, so we don't get a lot of straw, and then we'll get what we get. Once we start getting more fields, we'll have a lot more straw, and we still have that big grass field behind us, too, to mow. The tar up mowers now will take a lot less time than the uh, mower they gave us to start with, which was a side mount or a side cutter. So it's cold here today. I think it's about 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Winter has finally arrived on the plains of Kansas. Actually, it's been a cold all week. I think the low, I don't know if the night below might get down to 2 degrees Fahrenheit, which I don't know what is Celsius. Negative something. Nothing more exciting than picking up straw. Going around and around and around in circles. <clears throat> but you know what? In real life, fields ten times the size. Uh, a little boring. But like in farming, you have to get it done. I mean, nobody else can do it but yourself. Not just gonna magically get picked up. So. We're at eighty-nine percent, ninety percent. Getting here, we probably won't even get a full load off this deal. It's okay. Get as much as we can. And figure out if we dump this in the cow shed like on other maps or not. I think there's a straw silt point also next to the barn. I'm not real sure. I haven't extensively played this map. I may have played it here and there just to test things out. I don't think we have enough bits to get a full trailer, so I'm not going to worry about it too much tonight. Have some of these larger spots. Just cut it off here. Never have used an actual forage wagon or forage trailer like this before in real life. I don't think I've ever actually seen one in real life. If they use them, I haven't seen them in Kansas. I've seen forage harvesters in action. Both the self-propelled and the pull-behind tractor types used to do that when I was a kid, we had a pull behind type, and we would add a tractor and then a trailer, or his wagon would actually hook up in the back of the chopper or four harvester. We might get 100% of the bits when we bigger bits. Just a little bit more. Back over there, there was quite a bit still laying around over here. Just like this.
we'll get one back here, I think. I'm going to put here with grab. Eight. Grab a little bit along the way, and we'll go see if we can't get this put into the cow shit. out. So I, like I said, I, I put in the uh, mixing station. I have not put anything into it yet. We'll start with the cow shed and give them some straw. Well, we don't have any cows yet, but we'll get filled up in preparation for cows. Get that filled up from the straw so they can make manure. Rest of the mixing station. First year, Ooh, then we a lot of weight on the front. We go down this row here, then through the gate. We should be at the cow shed. I know there's a pit over here on the left side of the um, liquid manure tank that might be the straw cell point, but it also could be the place where we actually. Um, as well. If we go through this gate, we should come outside of here. And should be able to pull up next to the trough. Get out and take a gander. here and so we just back this trailer up to the trough and get it unloaded. Nope, straw isn't not what it did say it was accepted there. Okay, alright. We're pulling through the hedge people. Alright, we should be able to back this up to the trough. Okay, that's not very helpful. This thing does not like to turn. Okay. 
try this. Oh, geez. okay, it does say we can. So let's see, is it filling? Yes, so we now have our straw in place. So now let's go over to the mixing station. Which, if I remember correctly, I put... There it is, straight ahead. We need to go through the gate and to the left. I put it inside the cow pasture itself to keep it out of the way a little. A lot easier to do this in real life. Okay, so let's see if we can't get this lined up halfway decent. This trailer does not like to turn whatsoever when backing. Yeah. It likes to turn very quickly. It does not correct itself very well. better. There we are. A little better. Had it run in down too far, I believe. Okay. So let's go back and see that it's unloading and filling up. Okay, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.